Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, July 23rd, 2013. I've just come back from several days in the Boston, Massachusetts area. The big topic of conversation there on the front page of the Boston Globe every day is the Whitey Bulger trial. If you don't know anything about Mr. Bulger and his Winter Hill gang, I suggest you go to Google. You'll find the plot eerily reminiscent of the movie The Departed with Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, and Jack Nicholson. The movie was based on Mr. Bulger's exploits. It's a horrifying tale. Meanwhile, back to more pedestrian things, the uh, Lloyd's Syndicate Beasley has reported a bigger than expected 20% dip in its half-year profits, reflecting a weaker investment performance as increasingly rising interest rates have cut the value of its bond portfolio. It's always strange how that works. As interest rates rise, the value of the bond portfolio dips. Uh, Beasley announced a pre-tax profit of about $82 million. People have been expecting $95 million. They made $113 million in the same period last year. Immediately, the uh, sector, the reinsurance sector in London, began to be beaten down the stock market both in terms of the fears of increasing interest rates and what the effect would be on bonds, as well as the competition from insurance-linked securities. Beasley went down 4.8%. Catlin, Amlin, and Hiscox were down between a quarter of 1% and 2.3%. Meanwhile, interestingly enough, uh, alternative asset manager Highbridge Capital and Bermudian reinsurer Arch have announced that they're working to set up a partnership that would focus on casualty risk. This is according to the Insurance Insider. Two companies have been looking at options that could set up a sidecar uh, to write a quota share of casualty reinsurance business. This would be a big thing because thus far, sidecars have been limited pretty much to property cat. Meanwhile, Willis, the big broker, has said that it uh, cannot confirm that any carrier has been willing to participate in its controversial London-wide facility, Willis 360 Global. You may recall that Willis is trying to emulate what Aon and Berkshire have done. Willis apparently has approached 30-plus markets during a 90-day marketing effort, and they haven't gotten anybody to join. Uh, this could be because of market uh, solidarity now, standing firm against uh, future broker attempts to set up these quota share facilities. Meanwhile, the Insurance Insider is reporting that Mitsui Sumitomo and Tokyo Marine have emerged as significant insurers of the cargo, cargo on board the sunken container ship, MOL Comfort. Comfort uh, finally sank in the Indian Ocean on July 11th. It had been under tow since June 26th, when unfortunately a fire broke out. There were some 2,400 containers on the ship. Mitsui has told reinsurers that it's expecting about a $90 million loss from the disaster. It's going to retain $30 million. It's going to pass $60 million onto the reinsurance market. Tokyo Marine is going to have a $70 million loss. It's unknown what their attachment point is and how much they're going to pass on to the reinsurance market. Meanwhile, in northern Mexico, two people were killed and 12 wounded uh, in an explosion at an Italian-Argentine steelmaker's plant in the Nuevo Leon state. This would be at the Ternium Guerrero plant um, in northern Mexico. The explosion occurred in the mid-afternoon at a steel mill belonging to the Luxembourg-based company. They're investigating what caused it. Yesterday at about 5.15 p.m. in New York City, a Southwest Airlines 737-800, uh, while landing at LaGuardia from Nashville, saw its front nose wheel collapse and then skidded off the runway, shut the airport down for about two hours. Uh, later in the evening, uh, one runway was opened up. Uh, fortunately, there were no injuries, although the plane uh, could be severely damaged. The uh, crash landing was captured by amateur video, and there was a uh, blaze of sparks. Uh, as of about an hour ago, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey was towing the plane to a hangar, uh, hopefully opening up the airport, which is a critical hub in American air traffic. Meanwhile, in China, the death toll continues from the Monday morning earthquake which was a 5.9. Uh, it seems now that about uh, 90 people have been confirmed dead. This is in a farming region of northwest China. Uh, it's in Ganzhou province near the city of Dingxi. About 125,000 people have been affected by the quake, uh, forced to move to temporary shelters. And uh, this morning, a pre-dawn bus crash in central Thailand ended up killing 19 people and injuring more than 20. 
An 18-wheel truck hit the double-decker bus, which then caught fire. Police say the truck drove through a barrier in the center of the road and swerved into the path of the oncoming traffic, including the bus. The bus, uh, the truck driver was slightly injured. He's being uh, questioned. The bus driver was killed. Uh, safety standards are often poor in Thailand, and transport accidents are relatively common. Just 22 people were killed last month in a bus crash. And meanwhile, if you're the Swiss guards, uh, charged with protecting the Pope, what you saw yesterday in Rio de Janeiro must have uh, turned your blood cold. Pope Francis I, on his first trip uh, since becoming Pope, landed in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, and forsaking the Pope mobile or an armored limousine, was being driven from the airport to his destination in a Fiat. He was being driven in a uh, convoy that waited for traffic lights and uh, was stuck in traffic in downtown Rio de Janeiro. He was, of course, spotted by the crowds. The crowd surrounded his car. It looked to be a pretty shaky scene for a while until finally uh, the police came and put him into the Pope Mobile and cordoned off the streets properly. I can assure you this will not happen again. He will be in the Pope Mobile and the roads will be clear in advance. He is, after all, the Pope, and uh, you can't just let him wander around like that. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.